has happened. Seems to be a theme. The Imperial are going to play very. And he sometimes has to go back to base to get his mana back up, but he's always back in time to help out his teammate. Rise gets sunstruck as well with the cool snap being there. He does get the cool snap back off, but it doesn't matter. Well, let's see if uh, Imperial can pull that a little bit straight by getting a kill on the Timber saw for Rev. Timber Chain doesn't hit, and they get the kill. Very nicely done out. And I don't think that... Uh, but it does see the Ursa come out, so they know this is going on. I'm not sure if they're going to be on time. They are not going to be on time, and there is now a Timber Saw stuck on the high ground. Will be able to get himself out. In the meantime, mid one might not be so lucky, though, as he is charged, he is dying, and he is... Uh, he is dead. Let's put it that way. He died. Healing. A lot in the Astro. He didn't die. This is a smoke uh. gun, by the way. Pile I die. For Rev, they want to try and get Baby Knight. He has not got an Astro Imprisonment right now. There needs to be some extra backup, though. In the meantime, Invoker does end up going down in the mid lane to the Dark Seer and the Spirit Breaker, but the fight is here. They get the OD rise. That which Dr. Hull to it is doing a lot of damage to him, and Aces it's enough to get too. the kill. Even with an Aegis, he could just be killed twice, so yeah, he... Uh, but they would take the other tower on top tier 1 in return, and Shots that is a trade that Imperial doesn't want to take. They want to fight! And it doesn't look like they can, or can they? Ursa actually jumps up on mid one, has to back off again, does get the Maledict on him as well. In the meantime, Timbersaw actually is in the back of the fight, already kills off the Spear Breaker, will end up dropping to Ace. Considering their lineup is designed to fight and win fights and take kills and win the game by getting kills, it's a worry that they're not getting enough. This oh. would be. This is starting to get better though. Again, you gotta just keep going from kill to kill. Okay, one of your corsets being hit by the Ursa. Having a fast solo crest against Ursa is amazing. Oh, so. Ace. Oh, the cask goes, but they is get godly. the stunt and the cask off beforehand. He's taken so much damage. He does not have an Aegis anymore. He will be able to get a kill on the Timber Saw though, but he's let's see if that falls He should have enough. Yeah, yeah he yeah. did indeed, and he will be okay. This is a tricky combination to find. Who are you going to go for? Are you going to go for? Yeah. Uh, he's going to get back up. He's going to get actually a lot of he, back He's up. telling his team, like, I see them. Uh, they want to kill the Jug first, but they've got to respect the casket. Yeah. Uh, well, the Jug is already dead with uh, Witch Doctor just put on the sidelines for a bit. Then Pilot I will, yeah, quickly follow suit. Yep. Still getting that map control going for them. And Applying the pressure as well, and maybe, maybe are gonna get their wish of getting a fight here on this bottom lane. Both Team Secret and Imperial are gathering. Just Invoker's missing. Let's see if Imperial can get that initiation. They really want it. They are gonna jump in. Ace is the first one. Jumps in on the Ogre Magi. But Ace, he is actually taking, he's actually getting controlled loads. Can he actually do something here? He can't find his target. There is a lot of damage going through, though, and the Timber Saw is not going to make it out. Witch Doctor is already dead, they but Ursa still the Ursa, gets yeah. the kill with the curse. Not ideal outcome for Imperial. I guess they'll get the T2 tower as well, but here comes Secret looking to fight back. Yeah, there's the Juggernaut instantly. Oh, <laughs> he gets put on the right as he goes for the Omni Slash, I think. Yeah, that w he actually... Oh, he didn't use it. Never mind. I was confused there for a second. Tornado into Sunstrike. Noya can't charge away this time. Drops down. He'll go for the BKB in the late game, which means 10 second BKB versus Invoker. Oh, Pilot Eye and Puppy are going to be the target. Puppy getting to charge, but he's already behind the Tier 2 Tower. Mid 1 gets himself out. They get him though, with the Nether Strike and the Vacuum Wall there as well. Mid 1 had the cheese, he'll be okay. Can't say the same for Puppy though, he's dead. Pilot Eye, charged by a Ace. Yeah, there's. Oh! No, there's no way he's gonna live. Forev tried to come in to save him, but I think that's gonna be his death as well. I think this is a fight that Imperial is gonna be very happy with, as long as they don't get caught out. That's one. Oh. That's gonna be two, yeah. most likely. I don't see him escaping post Astral. Uh, no, nope, uh, I don't see things so either. And uh, Ace is still there, oh. and he gets cold snap, and the vacuum actually helps out getting MP closer to that Ursa. They're turning this around, MP blinked forward, wants to go for Hesse Joe. Hesse Joe is trying to teleport out, but he won't be able to. There's Yule Scepters are plenty on this team. Four dead. It started so well. Well, I think they want to try and make okay. it go. There's a lot of teleports coming. Ace already here. Oh, Abyssal Blade as well. This is a, a nice kill for Imperial. Wow. Well played by Ace to fight. The back end. They could have just walked in and take They're okay with taking this fight. They're going, they're going in. Baby Knight already Lincoln's popped. 
BKB on for MP, has cut the Omni Slash, goes for Rise, gets the kill on the Oracle already. Now Juggernaut, oh, Abyssal has to try to get himself out of there. In the meantime, in the backhand of the fight, Forever is trying to uh, hold back the, well, the Spear Breaker. He's already dead, actually. MP spinning away. Now Ace getting getting kited. Cold Snap is there. He's thinking about turning around, but it's Cold Snap is doing some work. Nice cheese. Now MP has to back off again, and it, it is Ace just here that is trying to stay alive. Now the rest of the team comes in with the Dark Seer. Vacuum there. Baby Knight already used his Sanity's Eclipse. It is Hester Joe that will end up dropping there in second. Third, rather. MP still drops. Took a long time for them to take him down, though. Mid one. Fuels is up. The OD. The oh, pilot. Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, and double tap. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. But he's fine. He actually had this one as well. I <laughs> just went, like, no shenanigans. Uh, but that was a 3 for 3, and I have to say... It, it was a very sloppy fight. Yeah, from both sides. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, a lot of kind of misspells, and not convincingly, like, I feel like it could take a while, and yeah. it may be a slow win, but it's going to take a lot of pickoffs and a lot of great plays for Imperial to win this game. Like, if, for Imperial to win this game, they've got to play amazing Dota. For Secret to win this game, they just have to play fairly decent. Play, play safe, standard, secure Dota. Well, that was an Aegis. And uh, meantime, Omni Slash as well. Oh, on the curse as well on both. They see both. Ursa will drop here too. It's There's no way he's going to make it out of that one with the, with the curse. Up, yeah, he's gone. He's very gone. And of course, OD is back alive because he had an Aegis, but. Something that Imperial. It's yeah, gonna and prevent them from well. being Yeah, oh yeah. Prevent them from being aggressive. Oh. Uh, and also mean if they get picked up again, it is actually DD. Well, speak of the devil. Pick up again, you say? Well, nice vacuum wall still there. Maybe that's enough to chase Secret out of this one. MP already spins himself out. The Witch Doctor dropped. Oracle has a bit of a problem there with the Timber Saw, but I don't think that, uh, that that matters that much if they get the Timber Saw kill as well. And it looks like Secret is the one on the back foot. Secret is the one that. Oh, there's still an Omni Slash available as well. Versus Low, he doesn't want to fight. Oh, they get the Dark Seed. That's a die back for him. The Ace is still nearby. He's in He's chasing, looking for a fight. And mid one is still in this as well. Nice EMP. Fuses himself up in the air. And Forever is back in this as well. Ace still gets a kill on the Invoker, but Invoker is back. He's teleporting back into the lane. And he wants to fight this Ace. He, he has his blink up full in a second. He uses Abyssal Blade. Juggernaut. Cold oh, Snap is there. <gasps> they, they don't the have the vision. There's oh, no, a gem the on the ground. Please, someone. Did they see him? Yeah, they see him again now, I think. <gasps> no, oh, they're they guessing. Don't. Pick up the gem, guys! It's right there! No one had item slots for it. He had to drop his boots to travel to pick it up because they didn't have room. Make sure you don't get caught on the re retreat with an OD buyback. Oh, there we go. Lincoln's already broken. Rev jumping in next, but there's already an abyssal lit up on the Juggernaut from the Ursa. Vacuum into wall coming out as well. Oh, the Witch Doctor will in a combination with the Deafening Blast and a Meteor. Ursa not able to do anything. This Cold Snap is wrecking him. Thank you, Oracle, saving. Ace for the moment as uh, Ryze himself has to be careful. So far as Juggernaut and Spearbreaker that have died in this he fight. Heal up Ace. I'm surprised he healed himself there. Ace was actually quite low after the false promise. Yeah, and they find themselves the Dark Seer. The Sunstrike uh, doesn't hit, but it doesn't matter. They get the kill regardless. Yes. Two for one. A, 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 a death from Invoker could just be oh. Secret of Lost the Game. Oh. That's a Witch Doctor without buyback. Oh. And now nice fighting actually gets. You have to deal with Cast. Cask has been winning fights. Yeah, no fight, no cast right now. Apparently, uh, Spirit Breaker is having a little bit of an issue there too. Again, with this, <laughs> the timber saw the chakram. So it's a four, four, four for three right now. As that is actually Oracle already dead. Ace is in the oh fight. my That's god, MP is just wrecking everybody right now. He's just chasing down everybody. He's just one by one. Now it's Ace's turn, and Ace is just getting kited. He's not able to do anything whatsoever. And the last one alive, it is Baby Knight. He's trying to go for mid one, but now realizes that he is the last one alive. Tries to blink himself away and teleport out. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Him just run around fights and survive because of the Silver Edge. That's, that's uh, game losing. Oh, Pilot Eye is the one with, uh, with uh, cheese at the moment. Oh, Ursa is jumping in right onto Pilot Eye. He might need that cheese sooner than he was thinking. Cold Snap. He needs the BKB or something. He's just not getting it. Now he's getting bashed as well. He can't do anything. He's getting stunned up. In comes the charge, buying some time. But again, stunned. Ace cannot get off a single hit. In the meantime, though, it is OD Doesn't that matter, is making yeah. stuff happen. Oh, he's wrecking them. Yeah, he's already got the Ogre, already got the Timber Saw. Now Cheers turns on to MP. His BKB is about to run out, so he has to be careful because this OD is hitting quite, quite hard. 
Nice charge, Noya Cask bouncing through again, helping out a lot, and the Omni Slash finally there. Oh, but he managed, he saved the Spirit Breaker, yep. and broke the ages. This is not going well for Secret. Not going well at all. They have only two people left alive, and one of them is the Juggernaut that just respawned from having the ages mid one. BKBs gets himself in, Viz gets himself out, and MP. Not sure if he can be so. Uh, I think he's just dead. He's dead. Yep. He is very no dead. No escape for him. The Invoker has lots of escape tools, but the no bad, save on Secret side is not great. They don't have an Astral or a False Promise. It's Imperial oh. who have all the save. They find the Timrasaw for Ev. Gets four stopped into safety. Uses himself up. Should be okay for the moment. The BKBs are on Hester Joe in the meantime as well. MP. He's targeting Hester Joe. This Dark here is going to be very sad with this newly found side of Ice. If he's just going to drop dead, his false promise might just be as false as Maybe. advertised. MP. Not going to only slash anymore. Gets Astral as well. It is for Ev that is chasing down Rise, and I don't think there's going to be anything to do with that one. Yeah, saved his life, but OD now gonna have to buy back. It looks like Timbersaw, he bought back. I'm guessing he's somehow respawned very fast, so he, his buyback was used, but this is the big fight now. Yeah, he did so uh, looking for Jug. Nice tornado, mid one, has to reposition himself to get those spells off. Nice stun off. Again, this OD is it's not even gonna be able to get his BKB off. He might need to put his BKB on right now. He. Oh my god. Can he use his BKB? To blink out, I think, just after the Astral. Yeah, he does, uh, he does save blink save for out. a subsequent fight, but they've lost Ursa without a buyback. They lost Ursa, oh, no buyback, no. and uh, that is going to be two lanes of Rax. They fought so well, they fought so hard, but... GG. It, it's one of those things where it felt like for a long time, like, oh yeah, surely Secret's going to win this game. Like, you've got this late game invoker. Ursa's not going to scale the late game. Imperial's draft isn't good in general in the late game. They shouldn't be able to win this game late, but they, they kept showing signs that they could find kills. They, they looked really promising with the Ursa finding pick.